I'm Bailey Gallegos. I'm 24 years old. I currently teach at North Davis Junior High and I teach eighth grade science, regular and honors. On a day-to-day -day basis, I plan assemblies, I plan all the dances, any after-school activities. I'm constantly running around trying to make sure that the kids are always happy and I have all the things that they want. So I really try to just get involved with as much as I can because I want to learn as much as I can. I like Ms. Gallegos because she relates to her students well and she teaches well and everyone understands it and she's always happy and smiling. She really stands out from other teachers because she does connect and she is so young, but she really tries to make all of her lesson plans really involving and to make them so she can really talk to her students and meet with them on like a personal level and she makes uh, examples for us to follow and she always has really fun like labs and things for us to do which make class a lot more energetic. I usually try to relate to the students. Uh, I know a lot about them, what they like to do. They like Snapchat, they like Instagram, they like technology. For example, when my students first come in, they get their iPads, they know my procedures. They do all their work on OneNote through Microsoft Office 365 because I can actually see what my students are doing. I place such an importance on trying to understand where my students come from and what their interests are. And I try to relate that into all the stuff that I do within the classroom. I thought she would be a great candidate for the CARE Award because she is very outgoing and she's always connecting with her students and that we always know that we're loved and that we have someone that we can turn to. So I have a, a couple different experiences. There's been one in particular that I can think of right now when I first started back in January of 2015. So my first day of jumping in, I was observing the teacher who was gonna be retiring and there was a student that she had warned me about and he had an F and I said, we're gonna do something about this grade. I will not tolerate this in my classroom. And he looked right at me and he said, lady, you won't last a month here. And I just thought to myself, game on, I can do this. And sure enough, it was a month and a day and I said, hey, do you know what today is? I asked him in front of the whole class and he, of course, no, I don't know what it is. It's been a month and a day and I'm still here. And he just said, well, I'm glad you're still here. So that was really a good, good feeling that I got from that. And it made me know that I was in the right place, I'm doing the right things, and I'm getting through to the kids, because that's what I want.